Hi, my name is Colleen Neagle. I am a Texas licensed attorney and I'm here today to talk a little bit about why you may or may not want an SBA loan. So SBA loans are, uh, I don't want to call them all the rage, but in a lot of instances they can be um, just one of several avenues or even a very limited avenue for a small business owner. And what I like to talk to small business owners about when regards to the SBAs, there's just a lot of red tape. You are dealing with the U.S. government. Um, it is the U.S. Treasury, right, via the Small Business Administration. And what you really don't want to do is default on that SBA loan, um, in part because if you default on that SBA loan, well, the SBA, the Treasury, right, the IRS, um, they all have uh, more powers than your average private lender, right? Um, if you decide to jip the federal government, you may be putting yourself in a worse position than you were had you just taken a private loan. Maybe it's a smaller loan, maybe it has higher interest rates, but if you went to go file for bankruptcy, you could potentially get out from underneath a private loan, but trying to get out from underneath an SBA loan is a little more difficult. So you want to think twice about how much risk you're taking and think about, um, you know, what are the chances of success? And is this just a way to get some cheap capital and there's not too much risk of your company cratering? Or is this a startup and there's a lot of risk associated with it and you may be putting yourself in a position where you can't pay the U.S. Treasury back. So I know I just kind of jumped between several different agencies there, but really if you default an SBA loan, you are defaulting on a U.S. federal government loan, right? The, gov the loan is from the government and you're going to be looking at um, some different, more complicated options if you decide to walk away from that loan, right? The U.S. federal government does not let you walk away from those loans quite so easily as opposed to getting a private lender like J.P. Morgan or Wells Fargo, right? If you, um, if you dip on one of those private lenders, they're not going to be able to garnish your wages. They can't force you into a payment plan. What they can is maybe um, take a, seek a judgment. Um, they can try to seek collateral and uh, go after all that collateral, but um, they're, they don't have the same powers as the U.S. government. So you're looking at two different, very uh, different animals, and the consequences are very different. So. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is below.